Raster data are often provided in tiles such as USGS quadrangles. In such cases, it's necessary to merge the raster tiles together to form a seamless raster covering the study area. Here I have QDIS desktop open with the four USGS DEMs loaded. Each of these has cell values representing the elevation above sea level and each is styled with the values stretched across a black to white color ramp. Since each dataset has different minimum and maximum cell values, the boundaries between the datasets is obvious. Each raster has its own custom stretch. So let's look at the data for one of these. I'll double click on this first DEM to open up the layer properties and I'll go to the metadata tab. And down under properties, under the driver section, we get the file format. Under band one, we get cell statistics the minimum, maximum, mean, and standard deviation values for those pixels. I'll scroll down. I'll get the dimensions in pixels, the origin coordinate, the pixel size. In this case, it's a 10 meter DEM, and the no data value. Raster data sets are always rectangular. If the data content does not fill the rectangular area, the extra cells will be assigned a value that signifies that there's no data there aka a no data value. And here the no data value is negative 32767. So with that I'll click OK. And I want to mosaic these four DEMs into a seamless data set. To do this I'll be using a tool found in the processing toolbox. So to enable that I'll go to the processing menu and choose toolbox. And it opens up the processing toolbox in a panel on the right hand side. The toolbox has two interface types. It has an advanced and a simplified interface. I'm going to choose this advanced interface, which divides the tools into the parent library. So there are tools for GRASS, tools for the Orfeo toolbox, tools for Saga, etc. I'm going to be using a Saga tool, so I'll expand that. And I'm going to go to Grid Tools. And I'm going to use the Mosaic Raster Layers tool. So I'll double click on that to open it. And I'll expand it so I can see all the options. I have four grids that I want to mosaic, so I'm going to click this ellipsis button next to input grids, and I'm going to check all four. I can just tell it to select all and click OK. Under preferred data storage type, I'm going to choose 4-bit signed integer. Under interpolation, I'm going to choose bilinear interpolation. This is suitable for continuous raster data sets. I'm going to choose this default overlapping area, which tells QGIS to use the last value in the order of the grid list if there are overlapping pixels. And then I'm going to name the output. I'm going to save it to a file in my lab folder. And I'll call it mosaic. Now that I've filled out all the parameters, I'll click run. And while it's processing, it switches to the log tab, and the result is a seamless raster. I'll turn off the original four DEMs. I don't need those anymore. This lab also comes with a vector data set representing the study area. I've got that loaded, and I'm going to drag that to the top of my layers panel and turn that on. This is my study area. So what I want to do is create a DEM that's seamless that covers my study area. I now have a seamless DEM, and the next step is to clip this to my study area boundary. To do this, I'm going to go to the Raster menu, to Extraction, and choose the Clipper tool. My input will be the Mosaic Grid, and the output, I'll navigate to my Lab directory, and I'll call it Study Area DEM. With this tool, you can choose an extent and put in an upper left and a lower right coordinate to create a bounding box, but I'm going to use my mask layer, which is my study area boundary. This clipper is a Goodle tool, and in this window below, you can see the command line Goodle syntax for this. So this would be the syntax you would use if you wanted to run this same operation from the command line. With that set, I'll click OK. Processing is completed. I can close this. Here's my study area DEM. I'll drag it to the top of the layers panel so I can see it, and I'll turn off the original. And now I have a clipped seamless DEM covering my study area. This is a common workflow to get raster data set up for an analysis. In the next task, we'll work with raster pyramids.